Tiffany, you've been down here since early this morning. You've got the spotting scope set up. Uh, what have you been seeing? And uh, actually, right now, if you want to peek in the spotting scope, there's a great blue heron. Here, why, don't, why don't you hold this for just a okay. minute? Okay. we got a great blue heron that's uh, fishing down the way. I don't know if he gets way off by those pilings on the island there. There's also been a number of cormorants that have been flying and swimming around here. Uh, cormorants, what are they? They're a large, dark bird that's a, a fishing bird. It likes to dive deep. And one of the things that makes it unique is that um, it doesn't have the same oil on its feathers as a lot of seabirds do. A lot of diving birds have oil on their feathers to keep them insulated and warm. They also have relatively uh, light bones, but the cormorants have dense bones. They're quite heavy, so that as they, um, they like to launch themselves off the top of something tall and dive down deep. And uh, when they do that, they can get a little bit deeper than most of the other seabirds around here. So when they come back, uh, they need to find a place where they can um, dry off their wings. So sometimes you'll see them sitting there on a log or a rock with their, their uh, wings spread out, uh, drying off in the sun. Uh, Stephanie, we had a, uh, you told me that there was a nest around here for an osprey. Can you tell me what an osprey is and where the nest is located? Yeah, the osprey nest here is on the light pole in the distance there. And um, ospreys are raptors that feed on fish. They're a, a hunting bird. And actually in Seattle we have a football team called the Seattle Seahawks. Um, the Seahawk or Fishhawk is another name for the osprey, so that's where they get their names. And actually we have a lot of these guys on the Duwamish now. I know of two or three other nests up and down the river, um, and they make use of the restoration sites and feed on the salmon and other fish that swim in the river here. So these animals, the great blue heron, the cormorants, the, uh, the seahawks, they're actually eating the animals that live here. Is that correct? That's right. They are sort of the top of the food chain in a way because those are all fish eaters. There's also kingfishers that live in this area. They, they eat small fish. There are a lot of other animals around here that eat um, a little bit lower on the food chain. Uh, some of the, the ducks and other types of shorebirds that don't eat fish are eating plants or small animals that live in the surface of the mud around here on the beach. Um, there are a lot of other things around here, different kinds of songbirds that live in the trees around the, um, around the estuary as well. What do you think of when you think of these uh, wild birds eating the animals out of the Duwamish River? Well, on the one hand, it's really, I think it's really amazing how much life is left in the estuary here because there's been so much development, there have been so many changes, and yet there is still so much wildlife. On the other hand, the wildlife that's here is really not very healthy because uh, there's a lot of issues um, with contamination in the sediments here. That gets into the animals, uh, gets up into, works up into the food chain, and eventually you start to see health effects with the animals that are, um, that are higher in the food chain. Well, let's take a look at some of these animals. Here you can see the students down at the shoreline pulling a net in right now. This is called a beach seine, and we have some students from Madison Middle School. What is your first name? Jackson. Jackson, nice to meet you. So uh, what, did you uh, what did you find down there pulling the net through the water? In here we have some mudfish. Mudfish. Let me see if... Mud so they can burrow themselves to hide from predators. They sit down right uh, yeah, flat. They sit down on the floor. They sit down right flat on the bottom of the, of the mm -hmm. estuary there. Mm -hmm. Do you know, uh, is this a, f a starry flounder? Mm, I don't know. You, you call it a, tell me again? A flounder. Okay, you call it a flounder too. All right, and uh, your name? Adriana. Adriana, you're also at uh, Madison Middle School? Yep. A science class. So were you pulling the net in down there? Uh, no. What were you doing? I was trying to find animals, looking in the mud for animals. Digging in the mud for animals. Did you find any? Yeah, we found a crab and some isopods. Okay, you have some right here. Crabs and isopods. Oh, here's a little crab. Here's a crab. Can you hold that up where the camera can see it? Right there is good. Yeah, what, do you know what kind of a crab that is? No, maybe a dungeness. Actually, this would be a shore crab. This is uh, as big as they get. Some people think when they find the little crabs down here that they've got a baby crab, but it's actually a shore crab, and that's uh, as big as they get. Mm. And what's in your other hand here? This is a mud clam. A mud clam. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Can you open that up, see if it opens, or is that still alive? It's, it's still alive. We found it in the mud burrowed. What's the mud like down here when you were digging in the mud? What was it like? Very gooey, gross, no oxygen, black. No oxygen? Nope. How do you know there's just no oxygen? If you come down here far enough, if it's right sand, it turns black. Oh, I see. When you were digging with a shovel, you could see the black sand down underneath. 
Here's an interesting thing. Whoa, there's got pinchers on it. What is this one? It's a crab. crab. It's a crab. It's a crab. This one, do you know what species of crab this is? No. I think it's a female. Yeah, this is a female dungeon nest. You can see on the bottom here that the tail is, uh, is whoops, the pinchers are active too. There you can see on the bottom that the tail is turned up on its belly and it has a very wide tail. They use that wide tail to hold the eggs in there. Now this is a Dungeness crab. This is the same kind you see in the grocery store. Have you ever seen these crabs in the grocery store? Yeah, yeah but they're pretty bigger than that. That's right, they have to be bigger. It's the little babies that live in the estuary. There, I saw something else in here. What's this? Golf ball. A golf ball? Oh my goodness. There's another one over here too. Now this golf ball is covered with uh, little animals on there. They clamp on there and they find food. They pop their little heads out of the hole that opens up and they gather food and come back inside and eat. What kind of animal is it? Barnacle. All right, good job. You're going to get an A in this class. Yeah, this golf ball is uh, covered with barnacles on here. So is this habitat or is it litter? Habitat. Mm, good guess. Let's see what else we have here in the tank. Uh, this green stuff that's floating near the top. What kind of a what kind of a plant is this? It is an eelgrass. Oh yeah, eelgrass will grow in the estuary, and this one right over here. This is an algae that's growing here. These are algae. You found these growing in the uh, in the mud down here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. All right. What else? Is there something else we haven't talked about yet? Uh, we have the little pipe, pipe fish. You found a pipe fish. It's very, it's, very small. It's a little tiny baby pipe fish. That's right. Let me see if I can get my hand behind that there. Can you see that on the screen? There's a little tiny baby pipe fish. Now these pipe fish, actually we don't have seahorses in this part of the world, but this is the kind of seahorse we have. I guess you could say it's a cousin to a seahorse. Yep. They live in the eelgrass. They do get bigger than that. You gonna try to catch it for me? Yeah. Okay, you probably don't wanna take it up out of the water, but you'll also have to turn it so that the camera can see. There, see, oh yeah, nice job. You're doing a fine job with that little baby pipe fish. He says we've got some shrimp in here too. See if you can catch me one of those shrimp right up in your hand. Ooh, I almost had him. Almost had him. There that guy is. There, there's one. Whoop, they jump. Come on. I got him. There's a shrimp. Baby shrimp. How did you catch the baby shrimp? The net. Oh yeah, they were in the, the net. net. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Better get that one back into the water. Is there anything else that you brought up here into these uh, tubs that we can talk about? Anything we haven't talked about yet? Nope. nope. You see, you think we got it all, huh? Yep. Okay, what's this right here? Oyster. Just an oyster shell. It's an found on the beach. Okay, do you think oysters are living here? Yes, yeah, probably. This one's not alive anymore though, is nope, it? it's dead. It's okay. dead. Found it on the beach. Uh, students, you did a really good job. Thanks a lot for showing us some of these animals that are living in the, in the estuary down here.